got stranded with a dead battery a while back and a bunch of guys recommended to go up to the interstate battery pick up one of these refurbished batteries um, group 31 um, it actually fits in there perfectly and uh, it's like it was made for it so I went ahead and got another one to replace uh, to replace this battery here the 6T MF battery um, a lot of them said that it wasn't good to mix the two different kinds of batteries I don't know anything about that but I figure if the other battery died this one might be getting close to it and I don't want to get stranded again so got us another group 31 battery back at interstate got this one there this one was like 80 bucks because I didn't have a core the uh, 6T MF I have right now works great so didn't want to give it up for 20 bucks so huh, let's stick this one in so what we're gonna need to do is gonna undo this bracket that one got this bolt this one and one right here all right we've gotten those loosened up we'll take them out right here uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery terminals now this is kind of a funny thing with my truck here here's a half inch it's a little bit loose Here's seven sixteenths. Too, won't fit. Too this. Too small. Uh, here's a twelve millimeter. Uh, that one won't fit either. Twelve millimeter is not big enough. And here's the thirteen millimeter. Pretty loose. So I guess. Uh, the nuts a little rounded off. Uh, so we're gonna get those loosened up and taken off. I missed a couple of nuts right here, so we gotta pull them out. Got her all disconnected. Side. All right. Apparently, these batteries weigh like 75 pounds, so I'm gonna have to use two hands to get that out of there. Got it pulled out. Now, looking here on the battery tray, let's see. See, there's this tab here. And there's another one right right here. That right there, that's the width of your group 31. And there's another tab right up here. So it'll sit right in there. And hold it right in place. Let's go get the one out of the back. All right, we got it dropped in. Slid right between the two tabs. I don't know if you can see it there. But I decided before we bolt this in, let's put a load test. This battery reads right at about 13 volts. This is the back one. Let's uh, give it a load and see what happens. So we can do this one-handed. All right, here we go. And it drops down to what, 11 and a half? Not bad, not bad. Now let's try this one. 
All right, this one's reading 12 and a half volts. Let's put a load. And it stays right just about 950 amps or so. 900 amps. That should be sufficient. Man, look at it smoking. Don't touch that. So, uh... It'll probably charge up a bit once we get driving, too. Let's get that disconnected. So it's real tight fit. Had to take the hammer and just kind of pound it on there and squeeze it right onto the battery real tight. But we finally got it on there. Now there's a bit of a gap, let's see here, between right here uh, but that's as low as it goes I didn't have that problem on the other one but uh, on this one here we do battery is just a little bit too tall I'll uh, tighten it down best we can there but not too tight because I don't want to bend that I don't want to warp that or bend it Got them all tightened up. I think what happened here is I tightened them up. It pulled, it pulled these up to meet. Uh, but they're flush now. Hopefully I didn't knock the fender out of whack or anything. I don't think so. Uh, it's all bolted in there pretty secure. It ain't going nowhere. That sucker's in there. And uh, all right, let's reconnect the terminals. All right, got her all connected. In case you were wondering what these were, this and here, and then, uh, I got them over here too. It's not plugged in, but here's the other sides. Plug into these. Those are my battery tender solar powered uh, battery tenders you see it there you see the light got them right inside you know I had expected that the truck was gonna sit quite a bit and I would drive the car most of the time but I love this truck man I drive it all the time this is my daily driver practically. Well, lately here it is, absolutely. Let's uh let's see if it starts. I got it good connected. Just double checking everything. Let's uh put that back over there. Try to start it. Looks a little bit lower than normal. Let's turn it over. It works. 